Hello everyone. How are you? That's great. I'm really excited because today we're going to talk a lot about colors. Are you ready? Here are three shapes. Can you tell me what color the circle is? It's pink. Very good. What about the triangle? The triangle is purple. Very good. What about the square? What color is the square? It's green. Great job! I'm going to give you three more shapes. Are you ready? What color is the heart? It's red. It's a red heart. What about the rectangle? What color is the rectangle? It's blue. It's a blue rectangle. And the last shape, what color is the star? It's yellow. Wow, great job. You really know your shapes and colors. Today, we're going to do a craft using our knowledge about shapes and colors. We're going to make a colorful bird, just like this. But first, we need a couple of things. Make sure you have paper, crayons or markers, a pencil, a black marker, And a pair of scissors. The first thing you're going to do is take your pencil and your paper and we're going to draw a couple of shapes. The first shape we're going to draw is a big circle, then a small triangle, and finally, a big oval. How many shapes are we drawing? A big circle, a small triangle, and a big oval. We're drawing three shapes. Very good. When you're finished, your paper should look like this. A big circle, a big oval, and a small triangle. When you're finished, I want you to take your paper and your pencil again, and this time we're going to trace our hands. I want you to put your hand on the paper and trace it five times. One, two, three, four, five handprints. Are you ready to trace your hands? Let's go. When you're finished, you'll have three shapes and five handprints. Now what we're going to do is take our crayons and our shapes. I need a red circle, a red oval, and a yellow triangle. So I need a red circle, a red oval, 
and a yellow triangle. Are you ready to color the shapes? When you're finished, your shapes will look like this. Now what I want you to do is take your crayons and your handprints and we're going to color each handprint a different color. We're going to have one red handprint, one orange handprint, one yellow handprint, one green handprint, and one blue handprint. When you're finished coloring, your handprints will look like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. When you're finished coloring your shapes and your handprints, I want you to take a pair of scissors and cut everything out. Are you ready to cut? Go. Now that we're finished cutting our shapes and our handprints, we're ready to start making our bird. The first thing I want you to do is take your tape and your shapes. You're going to take the red oval and the red circle. And I want you to put the red circle on top and to the side of the red oval, like this. So take a piece of tape and tape it to the top of the red oval, like this. The next thing you're going to do is take your yellow triangle and put it on the red circle. So take a piece of tape and tape it to the red circle like this. Now what we're going to do is take our handprints and we're going to tape them to the bottom and move upwards. So the first handprint I want you to take is the orange handprint. I want you to place it upside down onto the bottom of your bird, like this. So take a piece of tape and tape the handprint to the bottom of your bird, like this. Next, we're going to take the yellow handprint and tape it to the bottom of our bird. Next, we're going to take the green handprint, then the blue handprint, with our tape, and then finally, we're going to place the red handprint on top. This is your bird's wing. So here we have our oval, our oval, our circle, our triangle, and our five handprints. But is our bird missing something? <gasps> yes, his eyes. So I want you to take a black marker and draw an eye for your bird. Like this. And ta-da, that's it. Now you have a colorful bird. Great job today, everyone. Goodbye.